Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology, and I am delighted to uh, invite today my uh, senior in spiritual life and my godbrother Manas Kumarji. Uh, my great uh, fortune to be with you. I had met him last year in uh, Christmas, 25th December. I had gone to uh, Germany, South Germany, right, and West Germany. These two places. It was amazing. And uh, today he is going to share something very interesting. We were having a conversation in uh, Frankfurt, Germany, uh, somewhere in uh, December or January, right? January 1st, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So regarding uh, hidden meaning of every house, what is the sole meaning of every house? So we were discussing, uh, actually he was telling me, we were discussing, <laughs> he was telling me that there is one meaning of every house which if you do not understand, you will not understand that house. And if you don't understand that house, you cannot make up distinct or a, a definite prediction about that house. So suppose if you have a planet in uh, any house, for example, so what will that planet do in the dust? You may say, oh, planet in this house will do this, this, this. But there is an underlying theme to every house and that is exactly what he was uh, explaining to me and I was like, <laughs> um, yeah, we need to record this. So uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, the stage is all yours. Please enlighten us. <laughs> so thank you, Bhavji Ji. Uh, so the best uh, in astrology is that uh, like we, we first approach soul of every house we first understand you know uh, one house if if you will generally see can say a lot of thing it it basically says a lot of thing if you are uh, simply going to predict on basis of understanding all those varieties of thing that means uh, uh, generally when a uh, when we are seeing second house okay so second house means literally lot of things and a person gets simply puzzled up exactly which one to consider which one to consider for prediction yes for, for example second house means what uh, it 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 says inheritance okay it says uh, uh, kind uh, somebody says gold also you no know, property also okay and uh, like uh, it, it it somehow adds value to marriage also okay uh, it uh, for a childbirth also to has some role okay but the interesting thing is that like almost everybody will miss the soul thing what is the soul and if you are not knowing the soul thing you will not never be uh, able to understand from how these various branches of different meanings coming out from that. Exactly. So our main focus should be to firstly get that soul, soul word or yes. one word. And once we are done, like if we are understanding it thoroughly, I say you like you will be able to understand, uh, like you will be able to derive the meaning in different different all of the uh, derivations all of its explanations can come from that okay so for example this second house the meaning of the second house and anxiety okay this is wow. one word right <laughs> only if you are understanding this word and anxiety you can actually relate all of its meaning all of its expansions okay anxiety so, okay. So I'm just giving you an example. How second house uh, can mean wealth, a parental wealth. You know, uh, you have seen that uh, uh, people there have been fight for inheritance. Yes. Okay. You know, there is a there is like uh, uh, when their siblings want more and other siblings <laughs> this kind of parental. Uh, issues will come like uh, so much of tension and anxiety yes. will come so one of the reason 
like it second house shows an anxiety that's why it is related with that okay yes. now now if you have gold if you are if you are having some uh, deposit you will be having some anxiety whether it will yeah. not be whether how yeah. to keep it safe no anxiety <laughs> and you know uh, let's let's consider about marriage okay when somebody is going to get married you know before marriage uh, before marriage what happens the person is actually anxious that how my later life is going to be yes. he is all time thinking whether it be a boy or a girl he is actually anxious and he was uh, he was just uh, not knowing just Uh, thinking that okay maybe the things will be good maybe things will not be good but that is an anxiety same is with like a uh, pressure when a student feels when he is going to give examination when he has to write paper yes so sim- that also that also comes uh, uh, under second house so you can okay. see you can say lot of meaning if you are not knowing this an anxiety you will miss everything you cannot derive this Uh, you cannot derive this if you are uh, if i'm saying that the meaning of second house is a uh, parental property can you derive this unless you are not knowing this an anxiety you will miss it this is the thing this is the power of this single word and and we need to understand the single word from which whole uh, arena of the meanings can be uh, like can be blown out so basically uh, you mean to say if the planet in the second house mm-hmm. then the dust of that planet gets activated i mean that dust has starts mm-hmm. or the second lord's dust has starts for example mm-hmm. then there can be some some kind of anxiety where you have to maintain something right that is what mm-hmm. i understand yes 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 so okay. yes uh, so as you are saying like when when uh, when the when the lord that uh, planet let's say uh, like um, a planet is posited in that house okay and the lord of that house second house uh, will give similar kind of feature okay so uh, so what is that like as i said that it will be related ultimately with the anxiety oh. it can yeah it can be uh, a case of marriage okay which a second house is denoting it can be a case of like he is going to uh, going to get some inheritance or he is going to uh, give a exam like okay. three different things all together and okay. or he, there is a child birth going to expected in his family okay yeah that is also a, a, a other arena of thinking but all these four thing if you see in all the Things, one thing is common, and that common thing is an anxiety. Exactly. Exactly. In fact, it's very nice you are explaining this. Uh, you, you are explaining about the ninth house and that umbrella example. So would you? Yeah. Please? Yeah. Yeah. So you got it right, Bhavajit ji. So if you say like, if I'm saying that, uh, if you are saying uh, have to say for ninth house, okay, and I'm saying. Uh, what ninth house actually means what is the sole thing for now in ninth house uh, from which we i can actually derive all of its meaning so uh, let's say i'm giving you like uh, tell me can you please tell me that uh, umbrella okay how is umbrella uh, related with a house a person will be totally puzzled up like what is this like umbrella how can i fit it into a uh, astrology yes, yes 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 so somebody would say well, like umbrella if i'm placing it uh, overhead so maybe uh, that umbrella is going to uh, represent first house kind yeah. of that like it will be totally puzzled up in my body maybe that's why it's first house yeah 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 so uh, it's like uh, Uh, or uh, somebody will say like uh, it is going to protect me from sun and so that that may be mm, other house tenth house okay, okay. Uh, any any person will uh, will can derive anything uh, mm-hmm. that really he will just randomly putting in for uh, for any house but the thing is that 
that what is the sole purpose of umbrella what is the sole purpose of umbrella umbrella gives you shelter yes are when, when you are in between the tor torrents of rain rain is coming yes. down now yes. you are uh, if you are not umbrella, having umbrella you will be completely drenched up exactly right? yes if you are having umbrella it will give you shelter so yes. a nine house is actually meaning shelter shelter can oh, come wow. through many ways like it can come through a spiritual master it can yeah. come through holy books okay yes. it can come through your father who is like affectionate to you no yeah. uh, it can come from multiple directions but actually what ninth house means is what shelter yes and that's why they say like uh, krishna says na in the gita sarva dharman paritya mama ekam varnam raja ऑफर यू सम exactly this is what it is and you have actually caught the soul of that whole, whole system. i mean uh, so like i probably i would say that uh, you you will be understanding the the small one word meaning and this is so interesting so find it like how how am i deriving this meaning is is also a second level of uh, what can i say that mysterious thing yeah okay that is if you are not knowing that way then you are possibly not going to derive it so the uh, the meaning from where i am getting this there is a method from which if you are just following that method you will be understanding that uh, how a particular house has got a particular one word meaning from which you can wow. just find it okay so is, is that's referring to this uh, sun transit thing which you wanted to explain right exactly exactly okay okay so, okay. so in fact i was thinking we can discuss about that after 2 3 minutes uh, in the meantime i would like to ask you one thing so as you said uh, for second house the word is anxiety and then for ninth house the word is shelter mm -hmm. so the, so in that context you can say uh, if a planet is ninth house as i said some kind of shelter it will offer mm -hmm. so uh, do you feel there is any way to identify what kind of shelter it will be or how do you kind of how do you make a prediction out of it or how do you approach it basically so uh, the thing is that the you know uh, let's say you uh, you are in midst of road and you have got an accident let's uh, let's assume okay okay now what is uh, most uh, uh, important for you that ambulance will come from north direction ambulance will come from south direction is it coming from west direction or yeah. ambulance coming what tell me what is what is most important thing wherever it comes from <laughs> wherever it comes from yes so actually uh, the thing is that it can come in any form but the thing is that its sole purpose is to save me okay you no know, okay. we have, we have to we have to very concentrate it uh, bhavji ji what is our purpose we need to identify the purpose yes. once we are not uh, we we many a times get entangled to the gross uh to cause uh, what can i say that uh, display that okay. uh, i have uh, somebody rescued me okay somebody uh, that when i was in an anxiety then uh, one one person came and i was uh, like uh, i was going to do some bad thing and somebody rescued me the, the problem is that the people just 
get at, uh, attached to that gross element that yes. how they are going to get rid of. Uh, but the main thing is that we should understand that rescue is important. How the rescue yeah. is it can be any ways. It okay. doesn't matter exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What matters is rescue. Yeah, <laughs> and this is, this is something very interesting. I was thinking, uh, you said second house is anxiety. Yes. And then ninth house is shelter. So anxiety is basically kind of a sense of lack of shelter. You can say like that. And, yes. and if you see from the second house, the eighth house is the ninth house. And eighth house is the house of death. Yes. So it's like ninth yes. house is like the death of anxiety. You can say like that, right? Yes. Perfectly fits in actually. Yes. Uh, Everything is fixed. <laughs> so this is the beauty of uh, beauty. Actually, you can relate uh, like uh, Bhavad Bhav, uh, Bhavam uh, also in this. That is that is beauty. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. So uh, now uh, we will end this session and we will go to the uh, transit. And yes, I would love, love to know if you like this approach and the way he's speaking, which I'm obviously liking. So I'm very sure you all will also like. So you can also write it in the comments if you want for more houses. Okay. So currently we discussed the second and the ninth. So now it will depend on your response. If you want, only then. I will invite him again, maybe next month. He graces me with uh, his presence and all the houses. So then we can record more. We can do for all the other 10 houses, okay? So depending on your response, we will decide, okay? Now uh, we will go to the sun transit, but I will uh, cross the recording now.